All right, so the working theory is that undocking and docking um, will cause the humming buzz of a deployable, technically, of some sort that I used for used to for a very long time. I think was the Stargate home. I swore these two guys they had it when they went a few systems and docked an NPC. And this guy didn't get it when he jumped through, he undocked from the NPC, jumped through into Ruchi, jumped back and redocked an Isil. So I'm just extrapolating that they took off from Shuria out from an upwell and then docked an NPC and had that. That they undocked from upwell jumped, docked to the NPC, got into a new ship, undocked, and then went a few jumps, and then docked at the NPC, and had the bug. Hmm. Alright, well, I definitely need to go do stuff right now, so I'll try to repro the bug, like, with the working theory, right? hear it most when you're zoomed in close. Okay, the hum. Deployable. Faded out so it's not. I can definitely hear the hum. Oh. But it's not it's not the constant, right? It's 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 a real sound of a real freaking stargate. So it might Something in it might be s triggered by a. Let's see. Let's, let's see if the combination of Upwell and Stargate. You can't hear it during transit. And that is the sound of a Stargate warbling. We're gonna go back and, well, actually, give me a sec. There's oh, just dock it up wall and let's see if that is it. So we jumped. I'm gonna dock it up wall and see if the. But it was weird because these guys. I know it's very difficult. We'll try jumping in Aruchi with these ships and see if I can cause the same bug at the same. Might as well, right? 
So, no buzzing, right? No buzzing. So this guy's gonna dock in a well. Uh, with the atmosphere at full. Docking request accepted. Atmosphere at full. There we go. Buzzing. Could it be hey, the intermittent hum there? That's a Stargate, a normal Stargate. Uh, and we docked here. Wait a minute. Do you hear that? That's not warbling. Okay, we are gonna try docking at DED. Drive active. Hear this? It's not that warbling thing. Nope. It went. Damn it. This one's docking it dead. This one's docking it. Docking request accepted. Frickin' hell. Duh. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Uh, um, uh, English not his first language. Uh, it's just... Definitely not that, so I can't repro it. And nothing. And nothing. And nothing. So I wasn't able to get the bug going. It could possibly. I'm just trying to. Trying to repro this, it could be like you're just eliminating possibilities here. It could be multiple client use that I'm doing something with one client because we have the option of muting and unmuting. It knows when we're using another client, right? So it is the a client has an awareness of other clients or if you say browsing so you could be browsing on a browser and it knows that it's not it's, it knows it's in the background and should mute certain things and one of those things is deployable um, I am not a, I'm not pro, uh, it's way above my pay grade right now so yeah, it, it, but all I know, it, it does have an awareness of when it's not in the foreground. So it could be that I'm, I did something with, with the DST when I, um, when I jump because I was trying to scout, I was flipping between clients. Uh, I worked to the Stargate, switch client, worked um, 
Hereticus of the Stargate jumped to check. And then, of course, I went back, uh, hit jump for Serbo, and I went back, you know, and got, because it was clear, I got Hereticus back through the Stargate. Um, Sherbal jumped, Hereticus jumped, um, I got Sherbal to dock at the upwell, and I got Hereticus dock at the DD. Hereticus didn't incur it, but Sherbal did, and it, and we can eliminate upwell as instigating it because of the low data set we're use, I'm using. Um, it could be that I was doing uh, something on another client when, because we know it sounds like a particular aspect of a Stargate, of a normal Stargate that warbles, and that that particular sound reverberates, or, or I'm sorry, uh, repeats itself into a hum buzz kind of thing, a bug, of course that considers itself that the system considers a deployable when sensing that it's not in the foreground <laughs> but the only time you can't hear it is when you're jumping through a stargate when you're docking you'll hear it when you're undocking you'll hear it it's a continuous hum except when you're jumping <sighs> And you can fix it by uh, checking the soft, checking the son, and then of course relogging because now you can't freaking hear anything uh, of atmosphere. Period. <laughs> okay, or anything really. Um, it really buggers it up. Okay. So it's not as simple as I wanted it to be. It was hopeful, but that's just because I had a low data set. So I tried to reproduce it, did not work. So therefore, I'm glad I didn't post it as a bug report because it would they would have just gone, well, I can't rep reproduce it, toss it in a pile of years of bug reports, I'll bet. So, yeah. So more, since I can't repro it, yet uh, I'm not posting a bug report until I get it right until I can repro this um, and confirm it's repro um, it will stay on my channel and not become a bug report yeah and yeah that's all you can do document it find a workaround because I really like the sound of stargates now I really really do <laughs> it's very immersive and not annoying, especially when I'm scouting and trying to listen for gate flash. Damn it. All right, we'll, we'll get there eventually. I'm just trying to eliminate it, and I'll upload this one and make it public because I think it's important to actually show other people that it's not as simple as a deployable that we see and it's not as simple as oh it's because of an upwell or it's because of an NPC station or because of some object no I think it's more complicated in the, uh, in the inactive client situation as I like to say client continuity because it makes much more sense to call it that way but it yeah inactive client muting confuses that hell out of everybody because you think see this this is I, I just remembered the reason that inactive client muting it's confusing is it do I mute other people do I mute myself what is this is this self muting or other people's muting inactive client well the others are inactive so yeah I'll, I'll want to mute you know I don't want to hear their blah 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 you know um, and it matters too because especially see if it says um, client continuity um, you want to you could okay client continuity um, I want to unmute this yeah go with me if it says client continuity you go okay um, you know uh, brackets muting 
Um, I don't want to mute the music on this one, but I want to mu mute the music okay, I have on all the others. See? Because if it says client con continuity, muting, you can go, oh, okay, I want the music level uh, on this client so I don't hear a whole bunch of overlapping music. And I can do that. It would be wonderful. I love it, except um, I don't like some of the tracks, so I have SoundCloud, and I I had issues with SoundCloud at one point and went back to in-game music, and there was some issue with the in-game music giving me static pops and stuff because you use multiple clients. That's what happens. So, yeah. But I just left it as is, just just for sentimental value. <laughs> Maybe one decade they'll fix it. Who knows? Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah, it, it makes much more sense to do that because it's intuitive. It's not a double freaking negative. Using a double freaking negative of inactive, as in not you, and muting, which is not music, it's a double negative and it confuses people. Don't use double negatives. Freaking morons. I wish I could swear like Jonathan Pye. God, he's got some great freaking swear words. Love it. Anyways.